Hello there, this is Alan, and I'm back with another Harry Potter movie review for you. And today I'm going to be reviewing the fifth Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, released in 2007. And the plot of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, just going to read it from the back of the DVD. The Rebellion Begins! Lord Voldemort has returned, but the Ministry of Magic is doing everything it can to keep the wizarding world from knowing the truth, including appointing Ministry official Dolores Umbridge as the new Defense Against the Dark Arts professor at Hogwarts. When Umbridge refuses to teach practical defensive magic, Ron and Hermione convince Harry to secretly train a select group of students for the wizarding war that lies ahead. A terrifying showdown between good and evil awaits in this enthralling film version of the fifth novel in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. Prepare for battle. And that's basically the plot of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Well, I tell you, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, you know, this is a Harry Potter movie that really doesn't get all that much love. Some people just don't care for it whatsoever. The fact that it's the fifth movie in the series, meaning we're not quite at the end yet, and yet we've had four films prior, and yet when Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix ends, Harry's still not at that final battle with Voldemort just yet. Some people just didn't care for Order of the Phoenix. Some people said it just felt like an installment. I say hogwash. I think Order of the Phoenix is a very good Harry Potter movie. I don't know if it was ever destined to be the best Harry Potter movie of the bunch, just like I don't think the original book that J.K. Rowling wrote was ever meant to be the best book in the Harry Potter series, because it is the fifth chapter out of seven, with two more chapters left to go, but for what it is, it's a very good entry in the Harry Potter film franchise, and this is a Harry Potter film that definitely deserves more love than it actually gets. This is basically the movie where Harry Potter and company, but Harry especially, enter their rebellious teen years, but Harry is really, really getting rebellious now, and he's got a very hot temper. He gets angry very easily. He gets annoyed very easily, but then again, he's got, you know, Voldemort, who's tracking him, and, and he's got Voldemort on the mind, and so Harry's going through a lot in the Order of the Phoenix, so it doesn't surprise me that he's a very rebellious Harry in this particular chapter of the story. But uh, nonetheless, don't let anybody tell you that important stuff doesn't happen in Order of the Phoenix, because there is definitely important stuff that happens in this particular chapter. A beloved character dies in this particular movie. I won't say which one, but uh, yeah, we are going to lose one very beloved character in Order of the Phoenix. We are also introduced to a couple of new characters. Actually, you know, like, like a few new characters, but I, I guess the biggest standout ones are, let's see, on the evil side, we have Amelda Staunton as uh, Dolores Umbridge. She's the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, and I gotta tell you, this woman is demonic. This woman is pure evil. What she said subjects the, the kids at Hogwarts to is just shocking, absolutely shocking. I mean, the tactics that she uses. I mean, she dresses in pink wardrobe, and she has this thing for cats. Her whole office is decked out in pink with photographs of cats and all of that. But, you know, behind that smile is pure evil. And the way she tortures the kids by, I mean, first of all, she tortures Harry by having him write over and over again, I will not tell lies, I will not tell lies, I will not tell lies. And as he's writing it, it's cut into his hand by magic cut into his hand the sentence I will not tell lies and Harry slowly but surely feels the sentence I will not tell lies being cut into his hand which is just terrible I mean Imelda Staunton she is terrific in this movie there was talk of Imelda Staunton in fact getting an Oscar nomination for playing Dolores Umbridge because she's just a frightening woman. She's just totally demonic. Sadly, she did not get an Oscar nomination, but I just want to point out that Imelda Staunton is wonderfully pure evil <laughs> in the role of Dolores Umbridge. She's great. Again, the, the leads, Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter. He's wonderful in this movie. Again, showing Harry's rebellious side in this movie. He's great. Rupert Grint as Ron Weasley, you know, Harry's best friend. Very good, very funny. And of course, Emma Watson, the very lovely, talented Emma Watson as Hermione Granger. 
very good uh, in the role of Hermione. I like her very much. Although it seems to me that both uh, Rupert Grant and Emma Watson aren't given as much to do in Order of the Phoenix as they have been given in, in all the other Harry Potter movies. But I mean, they're still there. They still lend very good support uh, in Order of the Phoenix. But I'm just saying they're not given as much to do in this particular chapter. But they're still very good. Oh yes, there's the, also the introduction of the evil Bellatrix Lestrange, played by Helena Bonham Carter. And Helena Bonham Carter, I mean, she's a very talented actress, but she usually plays these wild, wacky characters. And yeah, her Bellatrix Lestrange, again, another woman of pure evil. And she's also the cousin of Sirius Black, played by Gary Oldman. So yeah, she's great, uh, making her debut here as Bellatrix Lestrange, uh, Helena Bonham Carter. All the other cast members are wonderful. I mean, you've got Ray Fiennes returning as Lord Voldemort, although he's seen kind of in a, in a small part. Robbie Coltrane as Hagrid, you know, Michael Gambon as Albus Dumbledore, another fine performance from Michael Gambon as Dumbledore, I like him very much. Gary Oldman returning as Sirius Black, he's great. Always uh, great to see the reliable Gary Oldman in, in a film, and again, he gives another powerful, strong, supporting performance as Sirius Black. Alan Rickman, Alan Rickman, rest his soul as Severus Snape, and I really love that scene uh, where he's uh, trying to teach Harry magic on how to defend himself against Voldemort, and there's a couple of really intense scenes between Harry and uh, Snape. I like those very much. Uh, Maggie Smith, Professor McGonagall, even though she's not given too much to do, she's quite good. The whole cast is really good. Good. Wikipedia is not telling me the name of the actress who plays uh, Luna Lovegood. But anyway, the young actress who plays Luna Lovegood, she's a new student at Hogwarts and she's got blonde hair and she has this, this very far off look in her eyes and, and the way she talks. She's quite wonderful. Lots of great visual effects in this movie. Lots of great drama happens in this story. They put Harry in a courtroom scene towards the beginning of the film. Uh, he's also attacked by Death Eaters. Then Harry gets the idea that he needs to teach his fellow students the magic spells that the evil Professor Umbridge will not teach them. So I really love all those scenes when Harry and his fellow students are in that private room and Harry's teaching them all the magic spells against Voldemort and his uh, evil cohorts. I love all those scenes where Harry's teaching the, the kids. There's that great action scene at the end when Harry and some of his friends break into the Department of Mysteries and uh, there's all those glass globes that contain prophecies and things like that and uh, they're having a big battle with the evil Death Eaters in the Department of Mysteries with all the glass globes and they fall and they shatter all over the place and it's just a great smackdown. And then of course there's that final battle between between Voldemort and Professor Dumbledore, where it's just magic wand upon magic wand, and it's just fantastic to look at. I mean, sparks going everywhere, glass shattering all over the place, fire effects, water effects. It's a really great final battle there. I also want to give credit to the director, David Yates, who uh, from this point on, he's going to be the director for the Harry Potter series uh, straight to the end of the series. So he is directing the final four films in the Harry Potter series, and I thought David Yates really did a good job directing Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I really enjoy Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, but I think this is a very good, very solid entry in the Harry Potter series. Don't let anybody tell you that important stuff does not happen in Order of the Phoenix, because important stuff most definitely happens. This is a very important chapter in Harry Potter's saga. Even though he's not quite at the end yet, he's getting there, and yes, some definitely some important stuff happens in Order of the Phoenix. I think this is an excellent top-notch adventure in Harry Potter's saga. The acting by everybody is great. The storytelling is great. Visual effects, great. David Yates's direction is solid. Really great stuff all the way around. And by the way, the music this time around, not done by John Williams, but done by Nicholas Hooper. And a great score by Nicholas Hooper on this film as well. The whole mood of the film is great. The atmosphere of the film is great. So I think Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix is a very good, solid, entertaining film in the Harry Potter series. As far as where I would rank it, I would rank this movie fifth on the list of the eight Harry Potter movies. Again, as I've said before, in my opinion, there are no bad Harry Potter movies. They're all good. They range from good to great. This one is very good. I won't say it's the best in the Harry Potter film series, but it's certainly not the worst. It's very good, and uh, I think Order of the Phoenix definitely deserves a lot more love than it gets. So, uh, yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up all the way from me for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I like it very much. And a much better Harry Potter movie than people have been led to believe. So, there you go. <laughs>
All right, that's my review of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So we move on now to the next chapter of the Harry Potter saga. That would be the sixth film in the Harry Potter film franchise, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. That'll be next time on Harry Potter Movie Review. I'm looking forward to watching that one again. So this is Alan. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back next time on Harry Potter Review with Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. See you then.